Welcome back. We are here with another craft distillery bottle review. So trying to give the due diligence to the bottles, to the brands who have been generous enough to send me some bottles. So um, we're trying to get caught up a little bit. So got a little behind now need to get, get caught up. So we're going to knock out a couple of these things. Um, again, second one we've done. The first one was our Westward whiskey. We're joining because of Mr. Brian Birmingham, the 20 to 80 baseball scale to rate these bottles, 20 being not good, 80 being hall of famer, average big leaguer 50. So we're going to go off the 20, 80 scale and, uh, see how these things stack up. So today our bottle review is going to be out of Bear Creek Distillery. They're straight bourbon whiskey. This is a Colorado um, distillery. The Colorado whiskey scene is popping like crazy. And uh, Bear Creek is making some good product. Um, this is a four-year age-stated straight bourbon. Delicious. I got a chance the other day to talk with one of their co-owners, co-founders, Jay Johnson, um, dude was awesome. I wanted to uh, hang out and drink whiskey and chat with him all day long. I really liked him. Really liked my conversation with Jay. Um, definitely going to keep in contact with him and hopefully get a chance to go up to Denver and check out Bear Creek when, when uh, things get cooled off with the COVID issues. Um, Bear Creek was founded by Jay and two of his high school buddies. So these guys grew up together and decided that they're going to leave their adult jobs and they're going to start a distillery. So they are all in on this thing. It is a full on passion project and they have gone all in and they're, they're thriving. They're doing a great job. Uh, they offer a lot of different bottles. They've got wheat whiskey and a weeded bourbon. They've got a, uh, a corn vodka, a rye vodka. They've got a rye bourbon. Uh, I think they've got a, like a full rye whiskey, I believe it was, but they, they're doing a lot. They're doing a good job. And I wish them absolutely the best of luck because uh, Jay was such a good dude. And uh, they're super kind sending me this bottle. So um, this is it. Bear Creek Distillery Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So 90 proof. It's a four year. So it's, it's mixed. Actually, this bottle here is mixed with some that are a little bit older than four years. But based on the rules of being qualified as being bourbon, uh, the, if there's an age statement on it, it has to be stated at the youngest barrel that it's mixed with. So the youngest barrel that's in this bottle is four years old. So really enjoyed it. I enjoyed that conversation. I hope you check it out. This to me is a solid whiskey. I'm I preface this in the last video is saying I'm not going to um, go above and beyond with like my excitement over a brand or a whiskey due to the fact that they sent me free whiskey. Uh, I need to be honest about this. So the last one was Westward whiskey. I gave it a 60. I probably went a little low. If I could do it again, I'd probably give it a 65 due to the complexity of it. Um, but yeah, I, I liked it. This one here, what's interesting. This has There's not anything in this that is like a standout note on the nose. You know, I think some bottles, you really get like heavy fruit, heavy, you know, caramel, heavy, um, you know, whether it's oak or, or leather or something like that. I get a little bit of oak. I get a little bit of sweetness. You know, that might be, I don't, it's not like a citrusy fruit. Um, and I, I don't get like a deep caramel. I just get a, a, a just a very like, strong bourbon smell, right? Nothing overwhelming, um, but it smells nice. It's not, it's not overly spicy. There is 15% rye, 75% corn, 15% rye, 10% malted barley, but that rye spice doesn't come through on the nose for me. It's just got a, it's just got a very nice, like standard bourbon nose. Now, the that that taste it's almost like you can really taste the corn it's very it's very it's grainy it's very like you can taste corn you can taste cereal um it's like that cereal type of a of a of a feel in your mouth like i feel like there's 
um, the aftertaste of a bite of cereal sitting in my mouth right now. And it's, it's a lot, it's nice. It's like a really nice, and I don't mean that, I know it's a weird way to describe it, but I just think about if I took a bite of cereal, um, like a bite of Cheerios and it, and I swallowed the milk and I could still taste like those Cheerios in my mouth. That's kind of what I get out of this. And then it's, it's a nice lingering spice and it's, it sits right on your tongue. So I think sometimes you, you feel the spice down in here. Sometimes you kind of feel it on the sides of your tongue and sides of your mouth. This to me sits on the top of my tongue for a long time. So it doesn't have the complexity of others. Um, it's very, and I wouldn't even say it's like, it's not like very bourbon-y, which is a weird thing to say. I mean, I think some people would agree or, or understand that and some, some won't, but I think it's really easy to go, oh yeah, I, I get, I get leather or I get caramel, vanilla and oak. Okay. So you're basically describing all bourbon. This doesn't have that for me. It's, it's very, it's strong with that cereal grain, which I think is really cool. And it's also, it's also very, um, it's an easy drink but that spice makes it really nice. So it's not overly high proof at 90. The, the rye doesn't overwhelm you with that spice from the flavor. Yeah, it just adds that. It adds a nice kick at the end. I mean, it's, it's still sitting on my tongue. Like you can taste this. You can still feel it sitting on your tongue, which is awesome. So I love this bottle. I believe it's, I believe it retails right around $50. I think it's a nice bottle to have. I love supporting small businesses. Um, I'm all for sticking with the big boys, but much like Jay says in our episode, not a big fan of chasing allocated bottles. Um, this is going to be harder to find because of availability and popularity throughout Colorado. Their distribution is pretty much limited to Colorado right now, and they're trying to expand over the next few years, but they aren't going to make enough to go around everywhere. So for me, if I were to go to Colorado and see this sitting on the shelf for $50, I'm buying it. I think it's a really nice whiskey to have. Um, I think supporting a small business and supporting Jay, like just getting to talk to Jay, you know, knowing he started this company with his buddies, he left a career he already had to start this and, and knowing and hearing about what they put into it, it, it makes you want to support those guys. So I'm going to try not to let that be Jade, Jade me. Try not to be jaded or uh, influenced in my decision making on grading because of my conversation with Jay and my enjoyment. But I will, I will say I recommend it. It, it. There isn't a lot of complexity, but it's a very good bourbon. I think the the taste is nice. I think that it lingers nicely. Um, I would say it's above average. I probably put this at like a fifty five to sixty. Um, it it doesn't have a lot of depth and complexity to it, but it's a really good, solid bourbon. Um, it's been aged, you know, it's got the four year age statement on this. Um, it's just, it's got a really nice flavor. It lingers. Um, it's just, for me, it lacks a complexity overall. There's not a lot of depth with flavors. Like I said, you don't get the fruit plus the leather plus like, you know, caramel, vanilla, whatever. So it's not your typical bourbon, but it's definitely a, a quality drink and it's above average. I wouldn't put it into the elite group, um, but it's above average. It's better than most. You know, if you were to taste average bourbons, this is going to be better than those. So for $50, I would absolutely 100% keep this on my shelf. I'm going 55, 60. I can't pick one, but 55 to 60. So check it out, do with it as you will. Okay. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you check out Bear Creek Distillery. Check out our sponsors in our, um, the description box below manscape 20% off using the code BPB at manscape.com. Okay. Free shipping 20% off manscape.com with the code BPB. Also a new sponsor is from bottomless coffee. Check those guys out. It's a coffee subscription where you sign up, you kind of let them know what kind of coffee you like. And, uh, they send you a Wi-Fi enabled scale, you keep your coffee on it. When you get low, they automatically arrive, uh, they automatically send you uh, another bag of coffee based on the flavor profiles that you pick or the types of uh, coffee that you pick, All right? You can get it ground, you can get whole bean, you can get coarse grind, fine grind, um, a lot of options. They have like 500 different, um, uh, roasters that they work with. So 
check it out. I think your second month or your second bag is free if you sign up using my link in the box below. So check it out, Bear Creek Distillery. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers.